Hello. Welcome to my channel. In this tutorial, we'll learn how to make procedural eyes in Blender. Let's get started the lecture. Press Shift A and add a UV sphere. Rotate the sphere 90 degrees on the X axis. Press Ctrl A and apply the rotation. Right click and make shade smooth. Click on the modifier tab and add subdivision surface modifier. Set the subdivision level to 1 for the viewport and render and apply the modifier. As you know, the front part of the eye is slightly convex. Let's switch to edit mode and move out the front side of the eye a little bit. To do this, enable the proportional editing tool. Then, select the middle vertex. Press numpad 3 and switch to right orthographic view. Hit the G and then Y key to move the vertex on the Y axis. Don't change the influence circle size and enter negative 0.08 on the keyboard. So, the vertex will be moved 0.08 meters on the negative Y axis. Don't forget to disable proportional editing tool again. Let's go back to object mode and turn on the viewport shading. As you can see, there is a shading problem in front of the eye. To fix this problem, go to edit mode. Press C key and select these vertices with circle selection mode. Press N key and open the right panel. Click on the edit tab and move the selected vertices into circle shape. There we go. The shading problem has solved. Also select outside edge loop and click on the relax button. Now, let's make iris of the eye. This is colored part of the eye. Select the fourth edge loop. Switch to right view and press Alt Z and switch to X-ray mode. Press Shift D and duplicate the edge loop, then press Y key and move the edge loop inside slightly. Press E key, then hit the Enter key. Press S key and scale down the edge loop. Move back the edge loop little bit. Press F key and create a face. Press L key and select the iris, and press Shift H and hide the eyeball except the iris. As you can see, we need to flip some face normals. Select the problematic faces. Press Alt N and flip the normals. There we go. Press Alt H and bring back the eyeball again. Now, it's time to add materials. Go back to object mode and switch to render preview mode. Click on the render properties tab and be sure that you are in cycles render engine. We need to light the scene. So, I will use HDRI image for lighting. Go to the World Properties tab, click on the Color node, and choose the Environment Texture. Click on the Open button, and choose the HDRI image. Go to Render Properties tab, scroll down to Film section, and enable the transparent option. Let's switch the timeline editor to shader editor. Click the new button and add a material for the eyeball. Rename the material as eyeball. First of all, we need to make transparent layer in front of the iris. We call this cornea. So, we can see the color of the eye. Let's press Shift A and add a gradient texture. With the texture selected, press Ctrl T and it will add texture coordinate and mapping nodes automatically. But, be sure that the Node Wrangler add-on is enabled. Otherwise it won't work. To see gradient texture on the eye temporarily, 
hold down shift control keys together, and click on the gradient texture node. So, it will add a viewer node. Change the texture coordinate node as object coordinate. Switch the gradient texture type to spherical. When we increase the Y location of the texture, you can see the white part of the texture become smaller. Let's set the Y location to 1. The white part will be transparent layer, it means cornea. We can control white and black color transition with color ramp. Press Shift A, Converter, and add a color ramp. Let's set the interpolation type to ease. Select the black color, and slide it to right side. As you can see, white section becomes smaller. Let's set its position about in the middle. Select the white color, and slide it to left side. The closer to the black color, the sharper color transition will be. Let's delete the viewer node, and plug the principled shader to material output again. Also plug the color ramp color node to transmission node, Now, let's add new material for the iris. It will give us the eye color. Go to edit mode, and switch to solid view. We can also disable viewport shading. Go over the iris part, hit the L key and select the iris. Go to material slot, click on the plus button to add new material slot, and assign the material for the iris. Go back to object mode, and switch to render view. Click on the new button and add a new material. Rename this material as Iris. Delete the principled shader, and add a emission shader instead of it. Plug the emission shader to material output. Pick the eye color as you wish. As you can see, transparent section is smaller than Iris. So, it gives us black circle around it. To fix this problem, switch to eyeball slot, and slide the white color to right little bit. There we go. Let's decrease the roughness and specular values. So, the eyes will be more reflective. Now, let's make iris texture in the pupil. Switch to iris slot again, and add a Voronoi texture. Press Ctrl T to add texture coordinate and mapping nodes. We will use object coordinates. Plug the Voronoi texture distance node to emission shader. Switch the mapping vector type to normal, and set the Y scaling value to 15. Also set the Voronoi texture scale to 7. Let's add the pupil now. Add a gradient texture node, and switch to spherical type. Add the texture coordinate and mapping nodes, and switch to object coordinates. Set the mapping Y location value to 1. Press Shift Ctrl left click on the gradient texture node to add viewer node. We need a color ramp to adjust white and black color transition. Let's add a color ramp. Replace white and black color stops on the color ramp. Adjust the color stops positions properly. Select the white color and change it to blue. Let's add another color stop clicking the plus button. Set the color to black, and slide the color stop to right side. So, color transition will be smoother at the edges. Now, we need to mix Voronoi and Gradient Texture. Delete the viewer node, and add a mix RGB node.
switch the blending mode to overlay. Because we gonna overlay the gradient texture onto Voronoi texture. Plug the gradient texture to color 1, and plug the Voronoi texture to color 2. Plug the mix RGB node to emission shader. There we go. Now, we gonna make the retina texture and blood vessels. Let's switch to eyeball material slot. Add a gradient texture node, and switch to spherical type. Let's add texture coordinate and mapping nodes in the same way. Plug the viewer node to see how it looks. Set the Y location value to 1. Add a color ramp. Select the black color, and change it almost to orange color. Switch the interpolation type to be spline. We can adjust the color stops a proper position. Let's plug the texture to principled shader, and see how it looks. It looks cool. Let's add blood vessels. Add a Voronoi texture. Add texture coordinate and mapping nodes. Plug the viewer node to see how it looks. Switch the mapping node to normal, and set the Y scaling value to 7. Also add a color ramp. Slide the black color to right side. Switch to be spline interpolation mode, and set the Voronoi texture scale value to 10. The white parts of the texture will be blood vessels. Now, let's mix the both textures. Add a mix RGB node, and switch the blending mode to overlay. Plug the Voronoi Texture Color node to the Factor node. Plug the Gradient Texture to Color 1 node. Also select the Color 2 node as red. It looks cool. Thanks for watching. See you in the next tutorial.